Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and today I'm going to be bringing you my lip collection. So this might take a minute. Yeah. <laughs> so basically I'm not going to swatch everything because that would take literally an hour to do that. So I'm just going to show you what products I do have and yeah, that'll be it. So this is the products that I just have in my, my little lip drawer that I kind of like mainly keep stuff in. In my makeup bag, I probably have another 20 makeup products or lip products by themselves and I keep that in my purse. I don't know why. I don't know why I keep that many in my purse. It makes no sense to me either. So yeah, I don't know. So to get started, let's just go through my, we'll start with categories. These will be my lip liners that I go through first. Let me make sure I have them all. Okay. And these are my NYX, I thought I had more than one. Well, I do have more than one in my purse. This is my NYX liquid, no, I'm already, see, what am I doing? Liquid, no, this is a lip liner. It's NYX in pale pink. This was my go-to, still kind of is, for the longest time. It's just a pale pink, like it says. And it's literally just one of my favorites. The next is Jante Blue's Brown Sugar Lip Liner Pencil, it's just, this rich red brown shade this is my go-to red because it's not like blue red I like orange red tone lip products better than I do the blue red because it goes with my skin tone better this is called passion from covergirl and it is you see the color on the end it is a really fiery red color it's my favorite red to use as a lip liner this is the BH Cosmetics in Muse. Really like this color. Looks really good with a few of my products mixed with it. And this is from BH Cosmetics also. This is in the shade Petal. These are actually really good. And I can't remember how much they are, so I might be wrong. But I want to say it was like two or two fifty each for these, and they're very good. They're just as good as like the NYX or the other ones that I'm about to show you. This is the Bodyography one in Barely There. This is an Ulta one in, why doesn't it say? For some reason, all the Ulta makeup products I have, like almost all of them don't say what color they are. That's crazy. That's probably just a nude. This is the Smashbox Always Sharp in Frenchie, and it's the shade that's actually this color right here. And this is the Dirty Little Secret, which is what I'm wearing today in Rosy Posy. And let's get started with the bullet lipsticks. Let's do that. So the first one I have is from Ariza. It's called Opus, the color. It's a nice, rich plum color. And I really like this plastic, this plastic. <laughs> I really like the packaging. It's really chic. Let me zoom you in a little bit. It's really chic looking, and I like that. The only problem with that is it's probably easily stained. This is one I have on right now that I really like. It is the Rimmel London, and I think the color is just called Kate. I don't know. That's all it says, and it just looks like this, and it's this pretty nude color. I really like it. The only thing I don't like it, I mean, it's drugstore, so I don't expect it to last for a million years, but it does kind of wear off pretty quickly. These two are from BH Cosmetics, and this is Tea Time. It's just a nice bubbly pink color. And this one is foxy gold. I got this because it is the weirdest color. And it reminds me of something that my mom had in the 90s. And I kind of got it for nostalgia's sake. This one is a metallic one from Ulta Beauty. Again, it just says metallic. doesn't say a shade on it. This is from It Cosmetics. It's the Je ne sais quoi. And I'm actually pretty pretty much out of that. I've used it to death. It's the one that changes with your lip chemistry or whatever and it changes to your own like customized pink and it actually does and it's very pretty and I like it. And let's see. This one is from L'Oreal. It's the Always Apricot and it's this color. Very pretty again. I like really orangey reds and this one is orangey red and it's very pretty and it's really bold. You gotta not really care what people think to wear that or wear this eye look. And if you know me, which you might be getting to, I don't care what anyone thinks, so sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> this is from Smashbox in the color Pout. And it's just a baby pink that I must have used with another color because it's a little tinted at the top. It's just a really baby pink. Actually, 
quite disappointed in this lipstick. I like the packaging. It's like this sleek little metal packaging. Um, the product itself is dry. It dries my point. My point. Help me, Lord. It dries my lips to the point of just uncomfortability. Like it's, I can, I'm, I'm thinking about it the whole time I'm wearing it. So I really don't even gravitate towards wearing this unless I absolutely want a baby pink because it's the perfect baby pink, but I don't gravitate towards it because of that reason. So let's see. I think the last of my bullet lipsticks are the ones I'm about to show you. So these are from Mellow cosmetics which you guys know I have an affiliate code with that I'll put or an affiliate link rather that if you use the link if you purchase something through the link um, I might make something off of that um, so I have three from them and these are what I got on my own so that's not like they sent, sent it to me or something this one is in the shade nude and I really like this one because it's more of a pinky brown rather than a brown nude it just looks better on my skin. This is one that is one of my most favorite lip lipsticks and I've put this, I've had this on in a video uh, before. I'll link that up here and it was the wing liner and the bold lip. It was very pretty. I really like this color. Again, it really makes a statement if you're into that sort of thing. This color is the one I just recently got. It's called Blossom and it's a red orange as well very pretty i'll have to put that on in a tutorial for you sometime uh, because i really like it so the next thing we can move on to is liquid lipsticks let's see we'll start with this one this is bear with me from dosa colors just looks like this really pretty really light nude color i like that and i got this one it is called play it cool and it's really pretty as well it's like a like a grayish plum color it's really pretty especially with that bear it with me color put on top of it very pretty this is another one from dosa colors this is called strawberry pop super pretty red pink very pretty i don't have anything else like it very very pretty i like the formula on those they don't dry down to a non-transferred finish but i feel like you have to sacrifice somewhere so if you want it to be a non-transferable lipstick you're going to have to deal with it being dry as hell all day because that's just what it is. It's going to be dry if it doesn't move. It just is. This one doesn't smudge around or move around like a regular lipstick might, um, but it's it's still going to transfer onto your cups or if you kiss or something like that. It still is going to come off, but not the same as a lipstick, but it's not dry as hell like a dry one. So the only products I didn't bring with me that were my liquid lipsticks was my BH Cosmetics liquid lip kit. And they have that has five of them in there um i have a review on that somewhere uh but yeah they just i don't really like those at all the colors aren't very nice um the finish i don't i just didn't care for them they're very dry um you might like it they're affordable but they're very dry there may be something just as affordable in the drugstore that you could maybe be more comfortable wearing than those they're just very dry um let's see the next one is this one doesn't dry down at all. It's not really, is it, I don't know if it's technically a liquid lipstick. It says Be Legendary Liquid Pigment. I mean, isn't that the same thing? This is in the shade Girl Please from Smashbox. It's really pretty, but I feel like I have a lot of brown shades like that, like red browns, and I'm just kind of like over those right now. This one is from Ofra, and it's Miami Fever. I think this is the one Kathleen Lights did with them. I can't really remember, though. It's a really pretty color. It's not for everyone, though. If you have pink undertones, I don't know if that's going to work for you or not. This one is from Ulta. It's a matte lip cream. Again, no color written on it. That is crazy. Why don't you guys have colors? Do you need someone to, to name your colors? Because I will do that for you. I would love to do that. This one smells really good. It smells like chocolate. But it's just a nude color. I don't know why it doesn't have a name on it. This one's from Ofra. It is in the color Mocha. Super similar to the other one. This is also from Ofra. Ofra. Ovary? <laughs> Ofra. This is in the color Verona. I really like this one. If I'm wanting like a dark lip, I'll take something like this and I might pat a little bit of a light nude just in the center and diffuse it out. 
This one's from Galactic. It's in the color Posh. Not as crazy about this color. I, I don't know. Something about it. I feel like the formula was okay, but I do feel like it was on the drier side. I feel like it mattified down pretty well. This is the Tardiest Lip Paint in Home Slice. One of these is leaking because it just leaked. I think it was that Galactic one. Um, it just looks like this. This one's pretty. I like it because it's got like a lot of pink to it and it's not just a brown. And this is one I got not super long ago, but it's one of my favorites. It is Ofra Long Lasting Lipstick in Venice. I bought this like a couple months ago, I think. And I absolutely love it. It's so pretty for summer. And it is just the perfect red orange. I absolutely love it. The next one is from Ades. Is that how you say it? Ades or Adesi? I don't know. Uh, what's the color? This doesn't have a color either. Um, it's just a kind of pink brown shade also. This, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong, was really dry. And I don't think I ever really gravitate towards that because of it. Let's see, where is, is the rest of it? Okay, this one is from Half Caked in the shade Girl Crush. Loved this color. This color was amazing. I absolutely loved it. This is the worst formula I've ever tried in a liquid lipstick. You put it on and literally without doing anything, without talking, without drinking, eating, touching, literally and within five minutes, it had to have been, it had to have been within the first two minutes, it started like balling up on my lips and I don't sit there, I'm not an idiot, I don't put liquid lipstick on and go and do that. You know not to do that. You know not to do it, okay? You're not doing anything and this formula seriously balled up on my lips and I was like, what the hell? I was so impressed with this color. I was like, holy crap, I absolutely love this color. For me, it's not for everybody, but I absolutely, and not with these eyes. I absolutely loved this color. I was like, oh my God, that is such a sexy summer color. That is fire, I want it right now. I put it on, had to take it off within a couple minutes and then when I went to wipe it off, it took nothing to wipe it off because it literally crumbled off. I was like, well, that's the worst thing I've ever put on my lips. Never again. This one is from Hank and Henry. It's called Petal Pusher. Super cute packaging. See that? It looks like a lipstick. And then you're like, oh no, the lipstick won't come off. That's because it's actually a liquid lipstick and it comes out the back. And it's a red brown also. Kind of wish it wasn't that color. That one I actually got in a, a boxy, I think. But I, I didn't... I don't like the color that much, but the formula is good. Let me see. Do I have any more liquid lipsticks? I still have so much stuff in here. This one's from Kat Von D. Hawkwind is what it's called. And it's just a liquid lipstick also. This one's really pretty. Awesome formula. The formula in this is really good. I really like it very much. Oh, I forgot I have other lip products in my bathroom I didn't grab. It'll have to be all right. One of them is the... Tarte color splash whatever it was in the video that I got my Tarte kit I can link that up here if you want to see it the other one is a makeup forever lipstick that's pretty pink and sparkly expensive as hell and dry just like the Smashbox one I barely ever wear it because it's so dry it hurts my lips what is going on with that guys come on that formula has got to be changed so this is a soft matte lip cream from NYX in the color San Juan Again, orangey color. Love this color. I have another one in my purse that's in the shade Morocco. And it's like a red orange. It's like this. It's just a little more red. It's a little more wearable than that one. For me, they're all wearable. This is another one in Milan. It's just a pretty pink. Like that. It's cool tone pink. I love a cool tone pink lip. I love it. And I think the last one that's a liquid lip. Oh, I'm looking at all these sitting right in front of me. This one is Ziggy from ColourPop. It's a lippy stick. And it's like this red-brown shade also. Apparently I have a lot of the same shade, just in different brands. This one is from Bare Minerals. And this is in the color Cookie. That's a really pretty pink. This is probably my other favorite formula of liquid lipsticks. This one, again, these don't dry completely down to where they don't transfer but they're very comfortable and they last a very long time so that's cookie i think i had this one on the other day 
in a video. This one's called Swag. And it's a pink, really natural pink color. It looks really similar to the color of my natural lips with just a hint more of purple to it. But I really like the formulas of these. This is the Gin Nude Matte. That's what all three of these are. This one is in Swank. And this is a really pretty purple when you put it on. It's like a plummy kind of purple. Very pretty. I like all of them. So I forgot to mention this lipstick a minute ago. I guess you would consider it a lipstick. It is a it's Smashbox LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color in Pacific Coast Pout. It just looks like this. You dot it on your cheeks and you can use this sponge in the end and dab it out or your finger and you can also use it as a lip. I don't like using cream products on my face really. They break me out so I don't use this for here. Just use it on my lips. So now I guess we can move to, well this is another thing I have, um, this is another Ulta product and it doesn't have a color again, it's a tinted lip, lip what, lipstick, lip balm, and it's just a nude color also, but again they don't have any names of their products. This one is the NYX Super Clicky in the color Oh So Pretty just looks like this and you literally click up the bottom and it clicks the product up. It's a really pretty color. I like it. It is oh so pretty. The thing I like about this is it's creamy. It stays on for a long time. It's not dry and you can either pat it on and pat it out with your finger and get a really natural flush of color or you can really put it on like a regular lipstick and it gets really intense and really pretty. You can make it look pretty different. Oh, I forgot I had these liquid lipsticks. So these are, some of these are like samples. I guess. I didn't even know I had these down in here. So this one's from Mellow and I've actually not tried this before so I can't speak to that. But holy crap, I'm going to try it to see if I like it because that color is so pretty. I love that kind of color for winter time. You're going to see lots of dark lips for Leonard. Leonard? What the hell is Leonard? <laughs> this one is from Stila. It's in the color of Venezia. Really love this color. Don't love the formula. Darn it, Stila. And I have another one in Stila's Perla. So I absolutely adore this purple shade. It is so freaking pretty with that Muse color. It's my favorite thing to wear with that Muse BH liquid, uh, no, BH lip liner. Why do I keep calling it liquid? Um, I absolutely adore Stila's colors and their liquid lips. But again, it's not my favorite formula. It does dry down matte, but it's a little too dry for me. But it's still better than a lot of other formulas, so I would definitely buy the full size of those before I would go and buy some of these other ones again. This one is from Ciate. It's the Glitter Flip in Infamous. And just looks like this. It's really pretty. And it's pretty impressive because that Glitter Flip really does work. It's really pretty. I'm sure you guys have seen thousands of videos about those. Um, let's see. What's next? This... Is, okay, this is uh, from Michelle Fan's brand, M. I guess that's just called M. This is a thing that I got. I don't even know if she still does that brand a couple years ago. And it looks a little messy for some reason. It comes like this with a big mirror. And you get a little brush. And this one in the middle is really just a gloss. It's like a gloss, a matte color. But I chose this in the shade Mix It Up Peaches. And I really actually like this, and it's really convenient. You carry it in your purse. The only problem is, is when it's hot outside, it does kind of transfer a little bit of product to the lid, just from where the product gets really warm and malleable, or whatever that word is. Am I saying real words? Who knows? So, <laughs> I'm not going to show you all of these. These are literally lipsticks I depotted and put into pill, whatever these are called, pill things, you know, pill cases. That's why it's got the days of the week on it because I needed to declutter the heck out of my lipstick a little while back. So I just went ahead and put each of these into a pill container and they have their own individual lid. And the only downfall with that is, oh, apparently I did. I took the sticker off the bottom. How smart am I? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I took the sticker off the bottom and put them on the bottom of the packaging. This one must have not either had a sticker or it fell off or something. Um, so these were just... I don't know what brand they are though because it doesn't say I recognize this this is NYX lipsticks but I don't know what the other one is um the only problem with that is the ones that don't have you know labels on them I don't know what they are so I'm not going to go through each of those because there's like 20 here so 
that's just something I did to depot it into and because a lot of them were low and only had like this much but if you actually take a tool a popsicle stick something clean and uh, you can scoop out the product because a lot of the product is still very much where's the lipstick at like a lot of the product is still very much in the bottom of the tube even if you only see this much at the top when you roll it all the way up there's still like this much in the bottom so you can scoop it out with something and you have a lot you have like the same amount you started with it's crazy so yeah and then you just have you know any kind of lip brush and you dip in with that and there you go so the next thing and the last thing we'll go to is lip glosses and I guess I better show you this first this is I don't know if it's LOC or LOC, but it's in the shade Glam Life. And it says LOC and Tati. And I really like Tati, but I, if that's if this is the same Tati, which I'm assuming it is, because it's called Glam Life, um, I don't like these products. These are super dry, super tuggy. I didn't like it at all. I never grad gravitate toward it. I like the color of it, but the formula was just not good for me. This is from Tarte. It's a Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream in the shade Wonder, and I really like this. And it's actually, for some reason, scented like peppermint, and it just feels kind of refreshing on the lips. Now we'll get to the glosses. So to start, I have Smashboxes in Luster, and it's just a shimmery, pearlescent white. The next one is in the shade It Girl, and it's literally just the shade. The next one is in the shade I don't know because it doesn't have the sticker anymore. And it's just a pretty nude shade. I had bought those in like a set or something I remember. Um, I just found another lip pencil. This is from Ulta. It actually has a color. It's the color Flesh. Who do they think they are? Pat McGrath? Naming stuff Flesh, to be fair. That one's pretty old, so they might have done that first. <laughs> um, so this is from what? I'm pretty sure this is from Bath and Body Works. Lip, lip, liplicious Mango Tango. I bought this like three times over because it smelled so good and it was so pretty. And I was pretty much only wearing gloss at the time. Haven't used this in a while. Um, I needed to do a declutter and get rid of some of this stuff. And it smells just like a cut open mango. So that's why I got it. This one is Smashbox Reflection High Shine Lip Gloss. And it just looks like this. The packaging is weird looking but it really is a super reflective bright gloss. This is from Revlon in the shade Gold Dust. It's really just a, I wouldn't, it, I mean it is kind of gold, but it's not a yellow gold. If anything, it's on the whiter side. This is from Smashbox in the color Radiant. Their lip glosses, I will say, Smashboxes are really good. I do like their glosses. This is from Hikari in the color Merlot. And it looks just like Merlot very pretty this is the tardiest lip paint in strike gold and it literally is more of a red gold color none of these are true gold they're all lying this is the Dominique cosmetics lemonade lip gloss in peach tea and I have this on my lips also it just looks like that this is smashbox this is the color pout I really like this the ones that you can really tell I'm not gonna open up with because it's the same color um, this is from Ulta Beauty again has no label on it for some reason and this is from Smashbox oh this is a liquid lipstick this is bear oh I thought I said bear alert <laughs> bears beats Battlestar Galactica it says babe alert I really like the one on that that's actually a really pretty color and this one's a liquid lipstick I forgot this is from Koki Cosmetics kissable liquid lipstick and it's Cerise this one, oh my god, I love this color. It's so pretty. It's so freaking pretty. But the formula sucks. The formula sucks. I wanted to love it so bad and I couldn't. Back to glosses. This is from Han Skincare Cosmetics. All natural lip gloss and raspberry chardonnay. And it's just a pretty pink plum color. This is from Pretty Vulgar. And it's called My Lips Are Sealed. Is that what it's called? Oh, okay, so it's called My Lips Are Sealed, but the color is Weeping Willow. This is a really strange and unusual product, but it's very pretty, and I like it because it's so different. This is from Lorac. I have four of these. They're in my purse. I really love the Lorac ones. These are Lip Luster Creams. This is in the color Crown Jewel, and it is like a almost like a blood red color, honestly. 
These are really pretty. You can put a light swipe on and just get a light wash of color or you can really build it up and actually get a good pigment from it. This is in the shade Majestic and they're really, they smell so good. This smells like nothing that I can describe to you. It smells like, the best I can say is like candy. This is from Ciate London also. It's the Lip Luster in Wildfire and it's very pretty. It's just a it's just a super sparkly gloss. Oh, here's another Lorac one. This is in Debutante. Really pretty hot pink. I really like it. And I like the wand. It's a mini, a mini, it's a brush instead of a doe foot, which I really like. I'm okay with the doe foots, but I feel like you get a lot more product with that brush. This is a, from Jelly Pom Pong. It's the lip oil, and it's literally just like a tinted lip oil. And it smells so good, you want to just drink it right out of the bottle. This is from Ariza Beauty Rose Glow. This is actually a lip topper. <laughs> Whoops. And you guys have seen that. It's very pretty, very sparkly, just super sparkly. And I've used that several times on here. This is another lip luster I had got. I actually bought these little minis. Um, this is in Kiss Me. It's just a really pretty shade. You see how just super shimmery that is and like attention getting? Very pretty. This is from L'Oreal Color Rich. What does it say? Most something. It's like so gone. I can't see what it says. Most something. It's in the shade 254 if they still sell it. It's the Lip Gloss, Le Gloss from L'Oreal. It looks like this peach color in the packaging. But when you put it on your lips, it turns into like a really crazy bright pink. I remember I got like a thousand compliments wearing this. Um, the next one is the Appeal Holographic Lip Gloss in the shade Posh. It's actually white, but it got tinted pink because I accidentally put it over pink lipstick. I forgot I still had it on. Yeah, so I screwed the pooch on that. Let's see. And the last one is a mini lip injection I bought. I had a, I had a full size version of this. I guess I used it all or threw it away. Um, I think they're all the same color. So it just says Turbo Power Lip Plumping Gloss. It's just the lip injections uh, gloss. And that's the, the plumper or whatever. And I have a few of these in my bathroom. I don't have them in here. This is the Posy Tint from Benefit. This isn't really a lipstick, but it is a lip product and a cheap product because you actually take this little brush and you can use it as a tint on your cheeks or your lips. So yeah. And this is Dr. Lips Miracle Balm and this stuff is thebalm.com. Seriously, this stuff really hydrates and works really well on your lips. I absolutely love it. I can't believe I have finally finished. <laughs> that is all, that is all my lip products except what's in my bathroom and what's in my purse that I already mentioned. So that's all. Let's zoom you up. So that is literally it. Thank you guys for joining me today. Sorry if this was long winded. I didn't realize I had so many products. Maybe I should go ahead and declutter. Probably. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. If you have something else you would like to see. This video was requested. Thank you so much who requested it. To who requested it. That sounded like a question at first. Who requested it? <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.